guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Let's Play. The first thing that I need to say is I have some sad news because I lost my audio for this video, which is not a nice thing to happen, especially because it was like a special edition with the winter's ball. But I'm here in a voiceover style and I'm going to quickly recap what happened at the winter's ball. And don't worry, I'm still going to show all the cute moments and all the drama that happened. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but it's still going to be a lot of fun. And then the first half of this video is going to be that recap. And then the second half will be just the regular let's play. Um, I don't know what happened to my audio. If I did, I could fix it, but I can't. So I'm really sorry. Uh, but I hope you still enjoy this episode. So the first thing that you just saw is that the butler is back in the Skylar household, which is so good because then we can have the uh, Angelica butler relationship sort of move forward a bit. And he was just a in this household again, I'm still not sure how butlers work, so maybe it is a different one every single time. Or maybe my game is just messing up. And what I was showing you now is that Angelica went around town and met up with all of the sims from this let's play. Sorry, the coffee machine is making way too much noise. I'm just going to continue, uh, I guess. I don't know, so much noise. Anyway, she went around town and met up with all of the sims so she can throw this party. She's going to be the host of the party because I feel like that's the most fitting as the oldest sister and um, she would like to have a social gathering, get to know everyone. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. And what we're also doing today is picking a cause to support for Eliza since that is the thing we voted on last time. And what won was No Sim Left Behind um, and a close second was World United. After that, Smolians for everyone. And the thing that got no votes was Less Mischief. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do all five options since I can only choose four. But anyway, we chose No Sim Left Behind, so that's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, I still need to get on decorating the first floor of this mansion. But that's okay. Uh, she just chose a cause and was really excited about it. So I'm excited for her. Uh, and at this point, I'm just going to show you a random clip of the butler being really angry. I still don't know why he was angry. But I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> And here we are at the Winter's Ball and Lafayette and Angelica are talking. And this is where I explained, um, first of all, what we voted on on YouTube last time, which was whether we wanted Lafayette and Mulligan to date. And it was a really big yes. So they are going to date and we'll see more of that later on in this video. I promise you, I will still keep in all of the cute moments that I got from this footage. Uh, you will not miss out on that. Uh, and as you can see, I put her in a really nice ball gown you can see hamilton in the distance talking to lawrence more cute stuff with that too uh but the dress the arms like clip through the dress but that's okay because they're really pretty and i put peggy and eliza and angelica all in those beautiful dresses but there wasn't a orange color so she's in a green one uh but i'm pretty sure eliza is in a baby blue one and peggy is in a yellow one or maybe i don't know I i'm pretty sure she's in a yellow one so they all look really beautiful and this is the venue that we're using and uh i was showing you what the uh, the thing the party was uh that's because that's the only party that would allow me to do it at a park this is a park and you can also see uh eliza there really really small uh but since it is a park um <laughs> we do see some random sims around so just ignore that uh and lawrence and hamilton were talking on their own and there's going to be so many cute moments between those two and they were all doing it on their own because they weren't in my household so they're like they actually really like each other and that made me so happy and it still makes me really happy <laughs> And in the last episode, I asked you guys for suggestions on what uh, Lafayette would say if he had a social media account because he's working on the social media career and I got so many really funny responses so thank you so much for that um, I did not expect so many uh, and I'm just going to say two that I really like but honestly I like all of them and they will all be at the end of the video if I forget yours I'm really sorry uh, I am pretty sure I, I have all of them but um, yeah just let me know if you I forgot yours and I will feature it in the next episode uh, but anyway uh, the first one that i really like before i start reading this sorry for my french i took six years of french in school and i still don't know how to pronounce anything it's ridiculous and it's kind of sad and i feel uh, kind of embarrassed embarrassed about it but that's fine uh, the reason i'm saying this is because uh, you guys used a lot of french words in the social media status updates which makes sense because he is french uh, but you know, just a quick disclaimer. So the first one is Bonjour everyone. Oh, I I'm keep okay, never mind. <laughs> it 
is your most handsome best French fry, the Marquis. I am very glad I got 50 followers, so merci. It's it still isn't as many amis as I have in the real world, but it's better than nothing. Winky smiley face. Uh, I may or may not like a certain person who wears a bean beanie. I don't know. I hope he doesn't have a social media, which is a really cute update, especially for the Mulligan reference in there. I really like that one. And then the other one was more of a concept, but I really liked it. And I, I want it to be a thing. Okay, so this person says, okay, but French is often seen as the language of love. And Lafayette's account is him giving love advice to people, but really being really funny and sassy at the same time, which would be hilarious. I want to follow the accounts. Someone make it, please, because that would be freaking amazing <laughs> but again thank you so much for all the lovely comments that i get on this let's play i always am really happy reading all your comments and i love how excited and involved you guys are in this let's play and this is the cutest moment of the entire let's play i wanted to take a cute screenshot and freak out a little more that they were talking to each other on their own and look at how friendly they are and then this happens <laughs> they were flirting on their own and it was was so cute and it was the best thing ever and i'm still so excited seeing this <laughs> so if you're going to continue watching this video and you're a lawrence hamilton and lafayette mulligan shipper prepare yourself because your heart is about to melt of the cuteness that happens in this video and now we're taking a look at all the crazy dance moves that went on in this <laughs> video which were a lot and i loved all of them dancing together in this room and these dresses aren't made for actually being in gameplay because they clip through everything but it was still really cute and just look at peggy over here at some point she's dancing with hamilton and it's just the cutest thing ever <laughs> and this was another thing that was suggested in the comments which was that Eliza would meet Hamilton at the party and then Hamilton would be really flirty because he's just a flirty sim like he's a flirty person that's at least that's how I see him um, so he's, he's kind of one of those people who flirts with everyone just a little bit uh, so Eliza thinks he likes her and Eliza likes him obviously and Angelica likes him and Peggy likes him it's like the first time they're meeting him and they all like him uh, but Angelica being the good older sister that she is notices that Eliza really likes Hamilton and she wants to sort of step aside like she does in the musical. So she went, she goes up to Hamilton and asks him. Uh, oh, quick side note. I had Lafayette and Mulligan do a dance battle together and it was hilarious. So if I find some clips of that, I will put it in too. Uh, but it was amazing and it was the most sassy dancing I have ever seen two sims do and it was amazing. But anyway, as you can see, uh, Hamilton and Eliza are now talking and at some point I had Angelica go up to Hamilton and ask about Eliza. What do you think about Eliza? And what Hamilton says is, I like Eliza. That's literally what he says, I like Eliza. And Obviously, it just means it casually because he's with Lawrence, but they don't know that. The Skyler sisters don't know that. So they sort of freak out and start talking to each other. And Angelica's like to Eliza, he really likes you, he likes you, he likes you. So he's, they're all freaking out. And now they think uh, they are in love, but they're not because Hamilton and Lawrence are together, which is kind of awkward. Uh, and he, she will probably find that out at some point. I don't know how yet. Uh, so that's going to be drama for a future episode. And then the next thing that happened were a lot of cute Lafayette and Mulligan moments. Since the vote for Lafayette and Mulligan to date did win last time. So I sort of started that a little. Starting with this really cute dance battle. And then they went upstairs. And of course, who was there creeping in the corner, looking at them, seeing if everything was going well? <laughs> the dad of the group. <laughs> George Washington, he was just standing in the corner and I did not do this because as you can see he was not in, my ha in this household at the time. So I did not make him do this. Uh, he just went up by himself when uh, Lafayette and Mulligan also went up the stairs and it was kind of hilarious and I just wanted to show you always looking out, <laughs> always creeping in the corner, always watching them. Uh, the last time was when um, Lawrence and Hamilton had their first kiss. He was also at a bench like just a little bit off looking at them and it's kind of hilarious that he's always <laughs> just spying on them. But we did want some privacy and there were a lot of people upstairs and also Washington and uh, so I actually had them go outside and that's where the real exciting things happened. 
Okay, so I felt like it was time for them to flirt a little, just get their romance up a bit because they already had a pretty good friendship going on. Uh, so they're just awkwardly standing here in this really, really pretty lake thingy. Uh, but this is the first time flirting. They're actually flirting and it was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> like typical Lafayette there and it was just really cute really exciting and uh, now Lafayette is offering Mulligan a rose and that's basically all I have for this sort of quick recap of this um whatever this was uh, i guess a winter's ball episode and we will dive into the gameplay really quickly so i hope you didn't mind too much i hope i uh, made it fun anyway just having a quick recap and the last 10 minutes of this video are going to be just some regular gameplay i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet uh, but i will see you in a second <laughs> Okay, so we're back in the game. Uh, this time for real, I'm hoping. I'm not sure if my audio is going to mess up again. This has never happened before, so I'm hoping it's just a one-time thing and just something weird was going on. Uh, but we're in the Skylar household at this moment. Uh, I wanted to jump back into this household because we've seen all of the relationships that we voted on and started. Except the butler one with Angelica. And we haven't seen much of that. We have seen Lawrence and Hamilton. We've seen... Lafayette and Mulligan, but we haven't seen Angelica and Butler. Uh, so I am back in this household and I wanted her to go home early. She's kind of tired. Um, that, I mean, that's the real reason why she has that look on her face. But I'm going to say it's because she has a crush on the butler and she doesn't know what to do with it. And he's back, so that's really good. He's cleaning up the kitchen, which was definitely needed. Um, uh, but Eliza actually also came home, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, just because um, she... She knows something is up with their sister. Uh, they are really close and she just knows something. Something is going on. Um, also, Eliza, uh, Angelica does have a bit of a crush on Hamilton. But she's not going to pursue it. And she also has a crush on the butler. So... I, I don't know if the butler thing is going to last. Here's the thing. I think it's just Angelica being a bit crazy and just doing something, you know, because she likes him. But she, I, don't, I don't know if they'd be madly in love, you know? And maybe now she is even more pushed towards the butler because she wants to get Hamilton out of her head. Which is never a good way to start a relationship. They could be really good together, but I don't think Angelica is in the right state of mind at the moment to start a relationship. Because she just, you know, she just met another man that she likes. Um, so I don't know, but she's getting over here. And while she is walking over here, I'm going to talk about the things we are voting on this week. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, so the first thing we're voting... <laughs> oh my god, look at him. The first thing we're voting on this week is which sim you want to see in the next episode. We did this in the first episode. Uh, but I want to do that again just so I can, you know... Get a feel of what you want to see, what you haven't seen in a while. Uh, it has been a while and maybe I haven't featured your favorite sim. So this is the time to vote on that. And that will be the vote on YouTube. But on Twitter, we're voting on which sim is going to join the Let's Play next. And um, the things I'm sort of thinking of are um, Mariah, Mariah, Mariah Reynolds. Uh, Madison and Jefferson who are obviously going to join together because I want them in one household because I think that's going to be fun. <laughs> Sorry, the screen, what is happening on the screen right now is just making me laugh. Um, also, King George? I think that would be fun. He would be like the mischievous sim everyone hates and he's going to around and he's not going to be like evil, but he's going to be like annoying, uh, really annoying. And then the last one is... Uh, I don't know. I think I, I'm thinking of two more. One is Theodosia, but like the not the like the 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 grown up version, not the child. You know, so um, Burr's wife is, is is wife. I think yeah, probably wife. Uh, and then uh, Martha Washington. Um, so those are the five I'm thinking of. Uh, if it is actually five, uh, and that you can vote on in the eye in the corner, but you have to see which one I actually put in, um, because yeah. It's a thing. Uh, <laughs> but they are talking. Ooh, Eliza went to bed. Yes, privacy. Okay. 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 Uh, this is a thing that I need to do. Okay. More choices. Romance. Flirt. Huh? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Next to trash. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. I don't want to miss it. Okay, pause the game. Pause the game. Wait, where, where are you going? I want, I want to know. Pause the game. <gasps> They're flirting! 
Okay, is he going to take it though? Maybe he's going to be like, this is inappropriate. I don't know. I need... <gasps> He liked it, he liked it, he liked it. Oh, but it only gave them more friendship. I want to uh, give them more romance. <sighs> Compliment his appearance. I mean, he does look nice in his butler suit, so he might as well. Um, I don't know, what should we do? Romance, maybe exchange numbers? No, maybe start pickup line? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, oh my god. He likes Angelica so much and I kind of feel bad for him because I don't know if... Why? Is this not possible or something? Oh, she is really happy now though. That's cute. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to last. I don't know if they're made for each other. I like them for just like, maybe like a summer fling sort of thing. Not that it's summer, it's actually winter. Winter fling, I don't know if that's the thing. Uh, flirt, flirt, please. I just, I want you to flirt. I want it to happen. I just want them to have a bit of a romance bar. Just a tiny bit of a romance bar, you know? Not even not even a, a lot. Just, just I want to start it. Okay, so this is quite a nice angle. Ah, they're flirting, they're flirting. That was definitely flirting. That was a kiss, that was flirting. Oh, I like that. Oh, <laughs> he is being all flirty too. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I like them. I do like them together. Ah, I'm, 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 I don't know anymore. I just, I don't know anymore. Oh, I th <laughs> whoa, okay, wait a second. Oh, she's all flirty. I just, <laughs> that scared me so much, like literally so much because he bent down to pick up the plates, the dirty plates, but I thought he was proposing and I was just so confused for a second and it's just like my heart jumped. I was like, this is too soon, this is too soon. I just freaked out a little. <laughs> oh, they have a romance bar, they have a romance bar, they have a romance bar. Yes, nice, nice. That's great. Oh, I love that. Okay, I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Uh, but I'm thinking of going to one more household just to make it an extra long episode because, you know, to make up for losing the the the, the footage from the first, uh, the audio for the first half. half. Never mind, moving on. <laughs> okay, so we're back at Hamilton's place just for some casual whatever um i have no idea what i'm going to do but i just want to go back to the main character for a bit just play with him for a second uh, maybe work on his career a little i do want him to get promoted i don't know he's probably on the first level of the of his career so i just i want him to work on that and um i don't know just have some fun in general okay so i'm having him read because that is the task that he needs to do for his work uh and i have no idea what his writing skill is but i do want him to uh, level that up really quickly just because you know he was really good at writing so i feel like that'd be uh, a, a thing he'd be good at. I'm actually kind of curious. He doesn't really have that much skill except for charisma, which obviously is Hamilton and he has a lot of charisma, so that makes sense. Should we invite someone over? I mean, it would make it more exciting. I wish I could read the like live comments right now because then I could ask you, wait, how, why do you know a ghost? <laughs> That's weird. Um, oh, he also know the, knows the butler, okay. Uh, but I, I kind of want him to... Um, Oh, John is so cute. Lawrence is so cute. Uh, I want him to invite someone over. Maybe someone like completely different. Maybe Lafayette. They were pretty close, but they're not actually that close. So maybe they can um, build up the relationship. Or maybe Angelica. They should probably be friends. They were close friends. Um, oh, he's sleeping. Hmm. What? Okay. Well, uh, let's try someone else. <laughs> Anyone who's not sleeping or are we just out of luck today? Also sleeping. I mean, makes sense because the three it's three a.m. So um, maybe you should just sleep and invite someone in the morning because I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so it's now the next day, so we're having uh, another try at this and maybe inviting Marquis de Lafayette. Uh, if I'm pr pronouncing that correctly, I know a couple of people did tell me in the comments how to pronounce that. So thank you so much. Uh, it's he will be right over. Yay! Uh, it's really helpful to uh, have people like tell me how to pronounce things uh if i'm not sure um obviously i don't don't expect me to change it in a second or pronounce it correctly the next time but i will try and he's here yay i really want them to be good friends um sheriff ask, ask about day wait no this is what hamilton actually would do <laughs> ask about his career <laughs> little career driven 
Hamilton in his PJs. Maybe, maybe change. I don't know. I, I, I don't really see you. Well, too late, I guess. Uh, another pink sim in the background. Uh, can you please just change your outfit because I don't, don't feel like this is appropriate. Um, can you, can you change it to everyday wear, please? <laughs> They are cute together. I mean, they're not a couple, but as friends, they are cute together. Maybe, I don't know. Are there any Lafayette Hamilton shipper, shipping happening? Is that a thing? Is like Lafayette Hamilton... L L Hamilton? No, that's the same thing as Lawrence. Um, Hamoyette? I don't know. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Why why are these people in this friend? Why are you friends with these people? I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, uh, interesting. Um, da -da -da. Social networking. Yay. Check total followers delete. No, let's update his social media status and then let's wait. It will probably tell me his amount of followers. Um, and update his social media status. That's also what he needs to do for his work. So that's fine. Oh my god, he's so excited about it. So is he giving love advice or is he like talking about how awesome he is and uh, just saying some sassy things? Maybe he's like talking about charisma level two. Well, that makes sense <laughs> for Lafayette to have a lot of charisma too. Uh, and Hamilton is <laughs> in it, grilled cheese. Um, it has been updated and uh, gained 20 followers and now has 60 followers in total. So he lost followers. Followers because last time he had 50 I thought um, why are don't 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 do that <laughs> can we update his social media status again or is that like too soon I want some more interactions for this let's do it again maybe he can get some more followers because he deserves like a million followers I would follow him it would be amazing all the sassy comments and like <sighs> it would Definitely be amazing. Reading your comments made me even more excited about this. Uh, so I am sad that that isn't a thing and that he isn't alive in this time. And I want to meet him and <laughs> read his social media updates, okay? <laughs> I'm really curious if there are people who ship them now. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, but I guess it could be a thing. Like, why not? Why not, right? It's, it's cute. They're cute. I'm not going to make it a thing because Hamilton already has enough shipping going on and he's already in a, in a relationship and I really want him to be with Eliza after this. Um, just so, I mean, even just to have Philip in the Let's Play because I really want Philip to be born and not created by me because I feel like that would be more fun. Um, and oh God, <laughs> what is happening? Why are we in a plate? <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. Oh, and he's sitting down again. Okay, that's <laughs> okay. Oh, I love these sims. I love these sims so much. <laughs> Which again, I say in every episode, but I mean, don't we all love these sims and these characters? They're amazing. Wait, Aaron Burr is throwing him a welcome wagon because I put him, I, I added him to, this is interesting. Okay, I added him to the, <laughs> oh my god. I, I can't even speak anymore. I'm so excited. Um, I added him to a different family, to the Skyler family. Then I removed him, which made me put him back into the world again. And that also means that he now is getting a welcome wagon. They are both getting a welcome wagon, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, let's invite him in. I mean, they don't really like each other, but Hamilton would be kind enough to invite him in. Okay, well, I guess this is where I'm leaving it up uh, for next episode. And maybe we can start uh, here in the next episode with Aaron Burr visiting um, Hamilton and Lafayette. And uh, also let me know what more you want to see in the next episode. If you want to see a certain character, if you want to something specific to happen, if you want to see more uh, Lawrence and Hamilton or Lafayette and Mulligan or whatever, let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next episode because I don't really have a plan for that yet. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!